Right, so uh, we are here at the AES 2017 in New York. Um, we are presenting the latest release from Sonox, that's the Dynamic EQ, a plugin that's now available for native formats, that includes AAX native, audio units and DST, as well as the universal audio platform. What you're seeing right now is the AAX native. It's a five band dynamic EQ uh, where each band can have its own parameters, its own settings. They are all independent. Okay. You may activate or deactivate each band, preserving the values. For example, we'll leave that on. And you may change the kind of filter that you're working on. For example, low shelf on that one, high shelf. And you may overlap. For example, you can drive the lowest one all the way across the spectrum without any problem. Okay? Any point I may control the cue as well. Each band. Each band includes a little triangle that you can see here. That's the offset value, the gain value, which behaves like a regular EQ. And on that negative position, now we'd be compressing this uh, frequency region. And if we put that on positive, it would be expanding. So you've got both functionalities in here. You can see that SC button which is not enabled by default, that's the sidechain behavior. So anytime you, this is on, the little section underneath is activated. That means that within the signal, I can use any part of the spectrum to trigger the compressor of that band. So for example, I may use the low end to trigger that compressor even select how big a section I want or even changing the filter and, and make it like a shelf. Okay? On top of that I can enable an external trigger by pressing this button and then selecting the right bus. Okay? In this particular example uh, this dynamic EQ is inserted on the music uh, stem where all the background music is rooted into and every time there is some voiceover then this is triggering the dynamic EQ which compresses the music a bit down just to protect the dialogue so that's the main purpose I may control the zoom the vertical zoom to make make it more precise from the upper left hand side of the spectrum I may resize the plugin to make it smaller or bigger. Right? Okay? And it works in mono and stereo. Sometimes you may want to exchange a preset like this for other platforms to use, like uh, Logic or Cubase. If that's the case, I need to access what we call the preset manager, just by clicking here, save new preset, and then I would access all the Sonox folders from which capture the preset from other sequences like Cubase or Nuendo or whatever. So that's uh, an easy way to exchange presets uh, from different platforms. Good, on top of that there's the preset the new version of the plugins, the new GUIs from the Elite range, you see the inflator, the limiter, which incorporates a threshold control and the ability to monitor in true peak mode, which wasn't available before. That the ITURS, ITURPS, which is actual true peak limiting on the output meters. Now they support VST3. And they support the new Digigrid uh, platform by Waves. And that's it for me.